Now question 2e, um, again we're talking about solving by factoring, the first thing we need to do is get 0 on one side, but in fact you know really like especially with something like this we actually have to simplify you know I mean you could add 18 to both sides and that's fine at the beginning um, so but we usually like we have to simplify we actually have to multiply these binomials out together alright so in a case like this we also have to simplify and then get 0 on one side if you like but in any case um, so we're just going to multiply this out, right? Uh, a lot of students, by the way, they like to say that t plus two is negative eighteen, and then t minus seven is ne negative eighteen. Uh, like, you can't use the zero product rule when you don't have zero. Like, it's only if two numbers multiply to give zero is one of them zero. You know? I mean, you can't say like a lot of students are going to make the mistake on this, and they're going to say, well. Um, you're going to say, well, oh, that's t plus 2 is negative 18, or t minus 7 is negative 18. Okay, that's completely wrong. And it's wrong because you can't say that if a times b equals negative 18, then, you know, a is negative 18, or b is negative 18. I mean, that's nonsense. Like, if a times b is negative 18, I mean, you could have 2 and negative 9, or you could have negative 1 and positive 18, or you could have you know all sorts of crazy stuff like so this does not work it only the a times b equals zero thing only works when you have you know equal to zero it's, it's only if you have two numbers equal to zero can you say that either a is zero or b is zero and that's the that's a that, uh, you can only say that with the number zero so zero is special that way we have to get zero on one side there's no shortcut this is a long question you need zero on one side so we'll multiply out the binomial t times t is t squared t times negative seven negative seven t two times t is plus two t two times negative seven minus fourteen and that's equal to negative eighteen right? add like terms t squared minus five t minus 14 equals negative 18. We could have added the 18 at the beginning, it'd be fine. Or we could add it now, whatever. But the point is, finally we're going to get this thing equal to zero. And that's what we need. So we need to multiply it out, simplify everything, and we'll get t squared minus 5t, and then negative 14 uh, plus 18 is plus 4 equals zero. That's what we want. We have to have zero on one side now we can do, we can factor, right, and use our a times b equals zero trick. Okay, so that was the trick on this question, is to make sure you get that magic number zero on one side, right? So how would you factor t squared minus 5t plus 4? The pairs of factors of 4, remember, are 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. Not just 2 times 2, it's also 1 times 4. So you need two numbers that multiply to positive 4, but they add to negative 5. That's the trick. Two numbers that multiply to positive 4, but add to negative 5. Now if you look at 1 and 5, they add to 5 at least, right? Or 1 and 4, I mean. 1 and 4 add to 5. How about a negative 1 and a negative 4? Is that going to work? See, if you add them, you get negative 5, right? And then negative 1 times negative 4 multiplied gives positive 4, right? So we end up with t minus 1 times t minus 4 equals 0. So now we can say, okay, if this times this is 0, one of these has to be 0. Okay, now we can say this is our a times b trick. Okay, so then either the t minus 1 is 0 or the t minus 4 factor is 0. If these two things multiply to 0, one of them has to be 0, right? So if you solve this, what do you get? And if you solve this, what do you get? So add 1 to both sides, t equals 1. Add 4 to both sides, t equals 4, right? So the answer is t equals 1 or t equals 4, and that is two solutions, right? Two solutions here.